Hey everybody, Zach here with Southern Lumen Retrievers. We're back in the trainer's room for another trainer's minute. Today what I want to cover is foam bumpers or foam dummies, okay? One brand pretty much rules the entire market. I, you know, everyone can say a bunch of people try to imitate it, but guys, Dokken, again, not sponsored. Nobody sponsors me. Dokken is the way to go, man. I love these guys since puppy to all the way up to experienced dog. They make it all. And they, like I said, they pretty much own that market of foam dummies, bumpers. Um, I know, I think Tangle Free has some. Avery might have a couple. Uh, but when it comes to the entire range, that's literally they, what they do. That's all they do. Um, and there's a reason they've been hanging around for a while. They make good stuff, okay? So I've got a couple. Um, they make a ton. I mean, I think they make just about every species. Um puddle, diver, geese, um, they got it all. So I'm gonna quick go through with you guys in case you guys are trying to go out for it um, or trying to buy them, because some of them are cheap, especially the goose. Things like 50 bucks, okay? So if you guys are trying to go on a budget or just wanna see sizes for whatever age your pup's at, I'm gonna help you out with that, okay? So starting off at the beginning, they, I think they call this one the puppy, uh, puppy duck. This is just a buffalo head, um, really, really small. Um, you guys can see, and, and this has gone through the ringer, man. It's, it's had its time, but um, really good. Don't mind all that. Um, I used to tape feathers, uh, tape wings to it. Really good con, uh, construction. I mean, like I said, it's pretty straightforward foam. Uh, you got your plastic legs, and they do not come off very easy. Um, you got a sweet band there just in case you, uh, you don't get bands like me and you want to put it on your lanyard because that's the way to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, really small, um, not big at all. Perfect for puppies. I mean, this thing's awesome. If you want to introduce your pup to what a duck is like for the first time, and it's not the season where you can actually get a real duck, get one of these guys. I think this, I don't even know, I don't know the prices of them off the top of my head. I'm sorry, I don't know them, but this is a good one. Good starter, love the buffle. Moving up in size, at least for what I have, uh, the wood duck. Same construction, same everything. Um, really good detail when I first got it. This is a couple years old, so uh, again, all these are pretty weathered. Um, you know, good paint head, nothing crazy. Um, all these float, um, so you don't have to worry if you're chucking them in the water, they float real well. What is a good, uh, a good step up from the buffle uh, for your pup? Moving up, I'm gonna go, these next two are kinda, Kind of the same, but I'll explain why. The black duck, a bigger duck lengthwise. Uh, you guys can see it's it's not too fat, kind of skinny. Um, you know, black ducks are usually pretty dang big. But this is a good this is a good starter duck for your pup. Um, it's it's not fat, so they can come up from the woody to this. They can really wrap their their mouth around it, and um, and it's a good upgrade in level. Okay. One thing I like to do, I like to get. Because most of these, you have to, where is it? they come with these little knobs and I'll show you. you have to pay like four or five bucks for those little things. Guys, I'm not paying that for every bird I have. I just take um, some like leftover rope or 550 cord or, or par paracord. I make a big ball out of it and I wrap it around this little cord. Duct tape it, duct tape it, duct tape it. I put a little grip tape over it. Saves you like 50 bucks when you get it all done. So black duck, good one. Next up, this one's the fat one. The can. All right. Not like I've ever shot one, but the can is awesome. Um, this is this is actually my newest one. Um, I bought this a couple months ago, but you can already see how much work it's put in. Okay. You could you could definitely hurt someone with this thing. This thing's that's hard. Um, but this is the one that this is the fat one. I call this the fat guy. Um, as the black duck was long, this one's fat. Okay. Another good step up. Moving on to our big boy. This is the mallard. This is the end all be all of Dokken. You can buy, and again, just it's just a big duck. Okay, really big duck. Like I said, it's the go-to for their line of birds. Um, again, I modified a little toss grip. Uh, you can buy these wings. I didn't know they had them for the longest. I mean, I always just tape real wings to them, but this is pretty cool um, because those of you who use real wings on your dummies, they can only go one way, and that's up and down. These add a good effect. You don't get the feel in the mouth, but you get the frustration 
of trying to grip it. If your pup, the ideal place they say on the website is to grip it right here, right from the neck to right where the wing starts. Okay, so right there is where the pup's supposed to to, uh, to get it. And I guess that's why they design these wings like that, so that they sit perfectly right there and leave an open spot. Now, as your pup gets bigger, they're gonna learn to just grab onto it like that because their mouth will grow, obviously. Um, but it's good. I usually start with like one wing on, and then as we progress, I'll add the second one on to add more frustration to our pup. But go to right here. And lastly, guys, we've got our boat anchor. The Canada Goose. This guy's a monster, guys. I mean, it's, you don't want to get hit with this thing. It's going to knock you over, man. I remember when I first gave this to one of the pups, and it was still a pup. This thing was bigger than our pup. And I'm thinking, how the heck is he going to pick this up? He got it, but man, he was dragging it. This thing's heavy. Um, really big compared to the Mallard. You can kind of see. And obviously compared to the Buffle. Gigantic. But guys, if you are in an area like I am in PA where a lot of geese are in your flyway, you just gotta do it. It's a necessary evil, okay? I, I know these run 50 bucks and they're pretty strict about it. Um, I'm not gonna buy probably more than this one just because I don't find myself using this a lot, um, but it's a tool everyone should have if they're really in the train of pups for a duck and especially geese. Um, but like I said, overall, Dokken makes a great line of them. You can get every species. Um, you can get every, they have accessories with it. Um, a little knob I was telling you about, this comes with it, which it should. It's just a little little knob that helps you throw it. Um, but that's like three, four bucks. And no way am I paying that. But guys, honestly, uh, I had a lot of people go back and forth with this. I'm a big fan of them. I like to practice how I play. If I'm gonna be hunting ducks, I want to have a real duck there. And if it's not hunting season, I'm going to use the closest thing to ducks, okay? Wings, feathers, these dummies. It's so important because if all you do is practice on bumpers and you bring your pup out for that first hunt or that first hunt test where they use live birds, it's just going to stare at it and you're going to be at a, a brick wall. So guys, I promise I've seen it before. Don't let your pup fall into that trap. Again, not trying to sell these guys. I'm just trying to help you guys out so you can succeed if you test or hunt with your pup later on in life, okay? So check them out. Uh, they're on every website. I mean, these guys are everywhere. So give them a look. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Shoot me a message. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.